Okay, 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 okay. Welcome to Crypto Games Gaming. Today I want to show you how to use a cheat engine. Mine is 7.2. I use it to change figures and digit in this game. Okay, many, many a times you playing a game and it it proves to be so tough for you. Uh, all the pro gamers might might find it simple, but there are those who are new in gaming. Oh, uh, you might not be new, but at times you're tired and you want things to move. So for at least for to make your brain feel successful. So this is where you come in with a cheat engine. So we, I'm going to use my cheat engine today. First, as I open it, this is my cheat engine. Okay. So these are kit that will help you ease your gaming. It might be also more fun because at least you'll have more resources than the opponents. For example, is the Age of Empire, the one we want to be changing right today. You will find that it proves to some people to be a very tough game, but with a cheat engine, things will be better. So you swiftly come here, you select on that, it brings you a small catalog box here. Then we're choosing the game we're playing is this one, just over here, Age of Empire 2 HD Edition. So once you select this one, then you open up that in the cheat engine. Once you've done that, now there is something very key that you need to know. Just a one one level that you need to change on this value type. Okay, you come here to the value type. It's four bytes. Only when you are only when you are changing figures in GTA 2, 1, or the San Andreas version, the Liberty City, that is when you use the 4 bytes. If you are changing GTA 5, you need to use the 8 bytes. But now we are changing Age of Empire. Age of Empire, Empire always you, you use float. doesn't have any byte in the game. So you use float. So you come down here, then select float. For your for your for your numbers to work in this cheat engine, you have to select float. Okay, so once you've done that, you set all the other settings are okay. There is no need of tampering with any. Okay, we, we will be here. Go back to the game. In the game we have so many resources here. We need to go start the game. We have so many resources. Whereby these are woods. The others are this is food, gold, stone, and the population. So for you to win this game, you need to have a lot of resources like wood, gold, gold, food, and stone for you to build up a better empire in this game. Okay, instead of going the manual way, because at the time it might prove tough, there are opponents. We have so many opponents here. I think there are eight. So as you can see, mine is Kelvo, it's the last one over here. Because I'm I don't have any resources. Those who are trying to build up resources, they become, they automatically become the leading, the leading countries over here. So for you to beat your opponent easily, you need to get a cheat engine. And this is what you do. You select the 500 here, then you insert the digit in the cheat engine. Okay, we get the cheat engine. Cheat engine is here. We are starting with the woods. You get 500 here type in 500 then you select first scan use the first scan okay it will give you a lot of numbers here numeric and also letters because the game itself has those numbers they also have other another 500 here so for you to redefine which 500 are you changing you go back to the game and change your digit to the descending use this back to the game you use this 500 for you to gain a different digit by using here we'll do this let us build one one house for us to use that wood yeah when they build house you see they've used 20 of the total so we have no they've used 30 so we have 470 so we get back to our cheat engine as you can see it's still at 500 now we'll get this you get it to 470 then you don't choose on the new scan you only choose on the next scan because these are new uh, these are a new figure we've inserted from the continuous 500 so you 
press next and it gives you at uh, three three figures to choose in between so three are better than the other figures there are too many so you select the three transfer them to the memory view memory view is just here so what you do is you now for you to change to edit these figures they have to be on the memory view so you want to change this value to our own desire you double click on the number then let us give it 900,000 those are 69 okay once you select the same same number on the series it will change the next one if it doesn't you also change the, the other one too so for for me it has it has already changed the next one once it changes that one it means the the trick has already worked on the game so it's still for 70 but once i'm in the game it changes to 900,000. so it's as simple as abc and in, immediately you have a lot of wood your resources have come you've already defeated all the other opponents we go back to our chart here you can see now kelvo is leading by the top because i am already leading with the resources here so the others will always be next you could change the next one too this is food okay we go and retype get to cheat engine we'll type uh, the food value here it's 500 get this value back here then 500 is here we have to use a new scan because these are new a new resource we are using we want to get uh, with a new value so 500 new scan then you select first scan after the first scan automatically it will give you a series of numbers and letters these are too many you cannot transfer them for any change so you get back to the game and do the descending order that i told you you reduce the resources you don't add so we reduce food by creating a human here when you produce a human it reduces number of food you can see it gives you an option of 50 food so we select one and it should be having for 50 so once it has reduced you go back to the cheat engine you also reduce the value there to 450 then what you do is you click on the next scan just like the other one next scan then there comes your three values there are values that are still on the memory view what you do is you select each and every one click on them then delete them for you not to confuse because they have no use now so you come to this value that we are using select the three values then copy them all here they are all there so once they are on the memory view you double click on the 450 the first value then change to let's put it 9000 900000 again okay my first value automatically changes the second value because we are all on float the other one doesn't have to change only the two are enough once it changes it means they are on the same same series so we get back to the game and check if it will have changed automatically it changes okay a point to note now when you're playing the age of empire any version of it either one or two or three or any addition when a value is zero you cannot change when a value is zero on the cheat engine you cannot change anything so i'm doing a try new fast scan you can never change because they because i had said we will be using a descending order so you cannot descend more than zero so here you must put your people to create resources to start mining gold for you to have a a number that can be descending while you while you utilizing the resources then it will, it will be able to change so the same thing happens to the stones you can still change at the same same time then that one will help you at least enjoy the game the game will be smoother to you you can you can try play the hardest level uh, with the, with full of, full of resources and you will see the game will be better okay on the cheat engine i had i did a video a week ago on how to download and install a cheat engine the video will be below the uh, at the description area i will leave a link there on on the video there so you can get the link on where to download it and the video on how to install it it's a very simple thing simple as abc as i used to tell you so uh, my video is done and that is how best you can use the cheat engine for for your enjoyment in gaming kindly do not forget to subscribe like enjoy the, the video 
you could also share the video and i think it will give us the morale the zeal to continue doing more videos this father on this further end of this country okay i think um should call it a day and goodbye